Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jake from Algo Daily, and welcome to the Algo Daily Full Course. We're gonna go through a lot in this course, and we're going to try to cover everything you need to know to really master your technical interview. So let's start with getting familiar with the platform itself. When you log into Algo Daily, you're gonna see algodaily.com slash dashboard. And as you might imagine, this is the dashboard where you can see an overview of your progress in the course. You'll always be able to find the link when signed in on the upper left hand here. And the dashboard gives you an overview of where you are and what you've done so far. This part right here is the next tutorial um, step. So it'll look at what sections you've completed and go to the farthest section that you have finished. And from there, if you ever want to just jump to the next part of the course, you just click next tutorial and it'll take you there. So going back, we also have learning preferences. Now learning preferences are optional. By default, they're left like such. And what each means is the following. So default to interactive view. When this is checked, if you click on any tutorial, so let's solve a random challenge, that tutorial will then load an interactive view or code mode, which is essentially a split panel view of the content. In case you prefer to have more interaction, have more space to play with code and be able to execute things and see an output quickly. If that's not checked and you go to a tutorial, meaning any lesson or challenge, it'll be in the typical blog post slash article view. And so that's really just a matter of preference. Of course, a lot of people when they're in this view will prefer to have their course menu closed. And so you can close it by toggling this checkbox. Then of course, choose your preferred programming language. We have very strong support for JavaScript, Python, Java. Go and Ruby are still in the works, but there's executable code environments for both. So I would recommend you to explore. And if you'd like to contribute, let us know. Then we have the lessons completed. So I've completed 26 lessons on algodaily.com and challenges completed. I've completed 91. These two are helpful links whenever you want to switch it up and you don't want to go to the immediate next step in the course and you just want to play around and jump to something random. You can go to a random challenge or go to a random lesson. And here's a list of completed challenges that I've done and another link to the next tutorial with a little preview. Now, one cool feature of the site is this job applications section. So what can we do with job applications? Well, one of the great parts about being able to integrate your job applications directly with the place where you're practicing algorithms and data structures is that we actually provide a list of interview problems that you might find when you interview at certain places. So we maintain a pretty thorough list of companies and interview questions that they've been known to ask in the past. And so here, let's get rid of this demo one. And let's say we're going for an Amazon position as a software engineer. I can actually track my application here. So let's say this is actually front end engineer. Let's say I applied a while back. We can put the link. So let's say amazon.job slash one, two, three. And the job was in New York. And what I can do is I can add information about updates that I've had during the application process. So if I close this guy and let's say on November 18th, or November 16th, I found a job opportunity. I could say some information like spoke to recruiter uh, Laura, role is on AWS team, hit save. And now I can track this information and ensure that I don't miss anything 
Having all this information in front of you and accessible at all times is really helpful when you get to the offer stages and the negotiation stages or when you're comparing offers. Now onto the tutorials themselves. To really get the most out of Algo Daily, you're going to want to really master using this course menu. And so the idea is to go step by step through the different sections. So of course, when everything's open, it's quite a lot of content. So I would recommend you filter by just sections first. This gives you a lay of the land of what the course entails, including um, the various sections that you'll find. And so let's say one day I've made it to easy strings, but I want to continue on to, I want to skip the cues because I know that's coming up. I can just pop that open and go through any of the cue problems. You can also filter by just problems, just lessons, or just the big patterns that you need to know. And I highly recommend this if you're limited on time. Now onto the actual lessons themselves. So most lessons will be in this format. You can always close the course menu at any given time. And on the right hand rail, we have a table of contents of sorts where you can jump to different sections. And at any point, if you want to try to play with code, you can just note that you will need to log something out. Otherwise, nothing will execute. So for example, in this case, all of this is being executed in a um, raw Python environment. So to get it to work, I just have to put something like R. And so this is just a little area that lets you play with code as you learn. And this is one of the things that people find most useful about the lessons on Algo Daily is that you can execute live code at any given time. Now let's reopen the course and let's go to a challenge. So we get on a challenge and you'll see the title and the level of difficulty. Problems will either be easy, medium, or hard. And to go through the challenge, simply read the challenge, understand it, make sure you enlarge the visuals so you can closely examine it. And then we'll provide you with some sample test cases to start. Now, it's important to keep in mind that we don't list out all of the test cases at first. Our recommendation is actually to have you solve this in code mode or interactive mode. Because here you get more access to um, space to actually try out your code. And what I like to do is I like to open the test cases and just try to write the code side by side alongside along with the test cases. If I ever get stuck, I can start maneuvering through the explanation by hitting next. And if I really get stuck, I can go to the solutions tab and watch a video of us explaining it or go through any of the community problems. Or one of my favorite features on the site, I can click visualize. I can actually visualize the problem and the solution as it unfolds. To get back to the long form article view, you just hit view as tutorial and we'll go back to the article view. And this is great for when you want to wrap up and let's say you want to watch the video in a larger format, you can click close and open it up here. or you can view any of the images in a larger format. When you're done, you can hit this blue button to get taken to another random problem or a random lesson, or you can go to the next step in the tutorial as directed by our curriculum. If you ever need help, you can hit discussion to access the discussions that are happening about the problem in our forum and you can also access the forum at any time via this community link. If you ever want to jump straight to videos, you can click video solution here and get what you need quickly. You can change the playback speed by clicking this little cog and changing it. And you can always go full view. 
whenever you need to. Of course, all of these things are um, accessible in both views. So you can see solutions, see submissions and visualize the solutions on, over here, or you can go to code mode and see them here. And one last thing is if you ever want to see where you are in amongst all the screens in code mode, you can click this to jump to a different screen. Two more pages that we want to explore is if you ever just want all of the problems on the site, you can click practice all challenges and this will give you this clean view of all the problems on our site sorted by day. And if you ever want to access a curriculum, go to learn all lessons and tutorials and you get taken to our curriculum. For people who are more used to a regular self-paced syllabus or curriculum, this page will be very useful. All right, and there you have it for now. Those are some best practices on using AlgoDaily. The rest of this tutorial will cover other parts of the program, like our daily email, parts of our community, how to change settings, and our career section. Thank you for watching. Thank you.